Sorry. You're just you're so sexy when you're scared. I can help myself. What 
time do you have to be in court? Nine o'clock sharp. And this one's gonna drag on for a couple of days. I know. That's why I took a few days off, packed a bag, and got us a room at Seasons Inn. Your favorite. You serious? You bet. I figured Jenny would be fine for a few days on her own. Plus, it'll give us time to catch up, if you know what I mean. That sounds great. <laughs> Did you hear that? Hear what? School starts in 20 minutes. Let's stitch. Drink a couple beers, have fun. I haven't missed a day of school since I had mono freshman year. See, you are too afraid. No. I'd rather stay current. Get good grades. Try and get into a good school. You know. The boring things you're supposed to do. Get in the closet. Second! There better not be anybody in here with you. No, Deb. Just talking to myself. You sure there's no one in here? Because you know the truth will set you free and lies will kill you. So you told me. Anyway. Mother and I won't be home till tomorrow night. She's going into the city with me. Think you can handle that? Yeah, I think I can handle that. It's good to see you happy again. How you doing, kiddo? I'm okay, really. Good, because you know me. I just want to make sure you're happy. I'll do anything to ensure that. You don't need to remind me. Good. Tell mom I love her. Will do. What was that all about? Don't worry about it. It's nothing. It sounded like something. You could tell me. No. I can't. Is everything all right? Yeah, of course. It's fine. I just wonder how she's doing. Yeah. She seems happier now. I think everything that happened is behind her. As much as it can be anyway. Yeah? I do. How about you? I don't want to talk about it. As far as I'm concerned, it's over. Why don't you trust me? I do. I just... I can't tell anyone. I'm your boyfriend. You're supposed to tell me everything. Look, you remember my accident? I remember you tell me about it. It was a big deal. I wanted to tell the truth, but... <sighs> you have everything? I think so. I don't think she'll throw a party, do you? You know what? I don't care. As long as she doesn't get in trouble or wreck the house. If I'm wrong, but your parents are leaving for a few days. Yeah. I'd say that's grounds to throw a little party. You want me to throw a party? No. You haven't missed school in like two years. You owe it to yourself. Have a little fun. Well, I guess. No, I need to go to school. Come on. What's one day gonna hurt? Am I even considering this? I guess it is just one day. 
Just a few people. In a circle only. Your trouble. I did. We'll be here soon. Max! Going somewhere? Well, Mr. Gowman, I was just heading to the bathroom. Sloppy Joe's really do a number in your stomach. Yeah, my dad has a spastic colon. Well, take care of business and get back to class. If there's anyone in this institution that needs an education, trust me, it's you, Tidwell. Yeah, you're, you're so inspiring, Principal Galman. It's a nice shirt. Did he get that at Costco? Go! I can't believe old goody two-shoes is throwing a party. She's never any fun till three o'clock on Friday. Whatever. Anything to get me out of history class. If I have to hear about that Castro guy one more time, I'm gonna slip my throat. <laughs> Who the hell is Castro? I'm gonna forget that you said that. What's <laughs> <laughs> up, asshole? You want us get out of here? <laughs> what? I didn't do anything. I know. I just like to slap. Okay, well, let me know next time. I'll give you something better stuff like my penis. Will you two stop flirting? <laughs> That's the disturbing part. They are flirting. You're having second thoughts, aren't you? Not really. Yes. I can't make up my mind. Look, you've been through something traumatic. I can't believe that you've been dealing with this for so long. It's been over a year. That's longer than we've known each other. 
I don't know if I... You can live with yourself? I didn't mean it like that. Hey, come on. What if I killed someone? You don't remember? What kind of booze does the great detective Bill Sin drink? Hi, you don't. Hey, you don't think a detective won't notice you drinking his booze? He measures it by the milliliter, and he drinks a lot. For a smart guy, you're pretty dumb, Max. Oh, Trina, your hostility is endearing. You must really care. I'll have you know that I care about you too. Shut up. Easy. Got apple teeny? Do we have that? Where the hell did you get this? It's been in the trunk of my car past two weeks. Hey, don't even think about using those martini glasses. That's cool. Drink this. We'll replace it later. Your dad rubs off on you nicely. Don't be an asshole. I'm sorry, Jenny. Don't worry about it. Pick up. Let loose, are we? I like it. Why not? Life's too short. Dale and I are colleagues from the force. Oh, well he and his wife left earlier. Looks like you missed him. But since you're here, can I, can I talk you into a cup of coffee? It's very neighborly of you. Sure. Thank you. Come on in. I need to get this. <laughs> you know, um, I really, I appreciate you humoring me. It's been lonely since my husband died, and, well, I mean, the neighborhood has just changed so much. Well, I can remember when all us housewives would get together and and have coffee every morning. Now the neighborhood is empty. Everybody's at work, you know, even the wives. The neighborhood's like a ghost town from nine to five. Don't say. So, um, do you need anything washed? Maybe. Well, then how about that cup of coffee?
I'm a married man. Here you go, Layman. Sift through this bullshit with a teaspoon and then file it. Got it. And don't look so goddamn smug. You asked for this job. You're the one that put me in this position for asking the right questions about a case. I remember you sticking your fucking nose in an investigation where it didn't belong, and then fucking up the truth with a bunch of goddamn hypothetical scenarios that made no fucking sense. Like I said, you asked for this job. Now answer the fucking phone. Fountain Hills Police Department, what's your emergency? Oh, hey, Gina. No, Detective Wilson didn't show up here either. Come here. Bilson didn't show up for court. I'll handle it. I'm sure you will. Knock off that fucking attitude. I don't know what you're talking about, detective. Stuck on dispatch? When are they gonna let you off this detail? When I admit that there was nothing wrong with a couple of senior detectives tampering with an investigation. Gotta love popo politics. I still gonna see you tonight? My place, seven o'clock. Now get away from me.
I had a good time on Friday. I know you did. It was very unexpected. <laughs> <laughs> but very nice. I have no complaints. Me neither. After we finish that, you want to go explore the upstairs? Bit forward. <laughs> well, I don't really know what else to say. I'm not exactly that smooth. You're smooth enough. Spin the bottle. Seriously? What? I think we're all a little too old. Speak for yourself. I could use a little action. And <laughs> if you absolutely don't want to kiss somebody, just take a shot. Fuck you, Trina. <laughs> right, I know how to kiss. Your mom tell you that? I know mine did. God, that is so wrong. That is so incredibly right. He's <laughs> telling me. Come up for air, will ya? <laughs> Don't look at me like that, come on. Here goes. Ooh. <laughs> oh, wow. My old girl. <laughs> what are you doing, Kathy? I'm terribly <laughs> here. Look at your little buzz there. Yeah. Oh, really? Why don't you come drink it off me, Billy Boy? <laughs> you don't have to ask me twice. <laughs> 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 Move, kids. You have fun. <laughs> Out of the way. Over here, Maxie. Now, slow it down, cowgirl.
You ready for me? <laughs> that goddamn kid smoking dope on my property again. Son of a bitch! <laughs> Fountain Hills Police Department. Do you have a license plate number? Thank you, sir. We'll send someone out right away. Detective, I just got a call from some old farmer lives out on Highway E. Says there's an abandoned car parked on his property. I'm fucking busy. Is this gonna take very long? Car is registered to Dale Bilson. Don't worry about it. I'll look into it. I wonder what the hell she's doing to him out there. She's into some kinky stuff. God, I feel like I'm running a brothel. Well, if you can't beat him, you might as well join him. <laughs> you guys okay in there? I really don't know. Your dad has a nice office. Why are all the pictures turned over? Mm. What the fuck was that? Bill? If that's you, I'm locking you in there. Such an idiot. Desk it is. Take this in the shower? Uh, I'll be in. In a minute. Okay. It's all right. I'm satisfied. You're the best. I know. Change. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, just make sure the room looks exactly like it did when you went in there, okay? Cool. Mom? 
Mike? 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 Yeah, in here. Here's a cup. Hey, Jenny. Hey, have you seen my cell phone? I thought I left it in the living room, but it's not there. Maybe one of the sexers took it. No doubt, huh? That's strange. Must be construction. You reached Detective Dale Bilson with Town Hill Police Department. Please leave a message and your number, and I'll get back to you shortly. What the shit? Where'd you say his car was parked again? Off Highway E. I can help. No. You can answer the fucking phone. Layman, any word on Bilson? No word. Seven, next seven, six, Roger. I'm gonna run over to his house and see if he's there. I want you to get a hold of the hospital and see if either his wife or he has been admitted. Everything all right? We'll see. Out. Oh, crap. Just let it go. Uh, no shit, don't answer it. I have to. Mr. Man. I mean, Officer Man. Home sick from school, huh? Yeah. <coughs> Got the flu bug. Where's your pop? He and Mom went to the city for the night. Dead at court. When was the last time you spoke with either of them? This morning, before they left. Is there something wrong? <coughs> God. I really should go back to sleep. I don't want to make you sick. Tell you what, Jenny. I'm not a total fucking moron. Why don't you give up your little game of ditch here? And I'll just pretend like I never saw you at home when you were supposed to be in school. FYI, I may be coming back. Yes, sir. And thank you. Um, should I be worried? I mean, are mom and dad all right? No, nothing to worry about. But the party's over. Got it. Who was it? My dad's partner. Shit. Yeah, party's over. Help me get everybody out of here. Yeah, no worries. I'm really sorry. I shouldn't have talked you into having a party. No, it was my choice. I wanted to have fun. But it's okay. We just have to go now. He might be coming back later. I think he's looking for my dad. For me? Party's over! I'm coming in! Blood? Bill? Kathy? 
guys all right? Wake up. Sarmai. Whoa. Let's get out of here. Somebody kill me. Trina. What's going on, man? Holy oh, shit. I thought I was gonna die. Oh, Mike, thank God you're here. We need to call the police right now. Oh, that's what I'm doing right now. Yeah, we, we need help. Someone's trying to kill us. We're at, um... 1012. Uh, 1012 Cherrywood Lane. All right, please. They're coming right now. Thank God. Should we hide? Yeah, uh... Shit. It's him. No, I, I think it was just the wind. Huh? It's him. Yeah, calm down. You're freaking out, okay? Just take a deep breath. Cops are coming. We're gonna be fine, right? Okay. Guess who didn't call the cops? What now? Dead.
What the fuck are you doing? Looking for another demotion? I was just... You were just putting that shit away is what you were doing. What is it? That car. It was parked across the street from Dale Bilson's residence. Where's Mrs. Donatucci and what the fuck are you doing here? She went out of town. She asked me to feed the fish. Get the fuck out of my way. Mrs. Donatucci doesn't like strangers in the house. You are asshole. Good. Then you'll understand why I have to cut your head off. Go for it! Oh. <laughs> for what they do. People have to be held accountable. Well, at least we could have a little fun with it, too. That's my boy.
That was just a little foreplay. Wilson is missing, and his car has been abandoned. Man's acting erratic. Something bad is happening, and it's happening right now. Can I at least help you out? entering the premises. Starting to put all this together? Please. Don't do this. Just let us go. You don't deserve your freedom. My wife. My little girl. Oh. oh. What's that, Dad? You leave her alone. This is between you and Dad. Did I kill this You learned me. I have a little money. We could work something out. She's so young. Just don't do this. Don't do this. Are you fucking insane? Who you let your daughter go free? Would she kill my family? I'm sorry, Mr. Bilson. But it looks like you created a monster. Then punish me and let my daughter go. Let my daughter go. Uh. She has to pay. I'll turn myself in. I promise. Just please don't hurt us. Don't let him do this, Mike. odd we first met after your accident let me tell you trying to date you was one of the hardest things but you you took the bait you took the bait and it unfolded beautifully i even got you to admit to what you did <laughs> But Dad, I have to tell you, she didn't know that she killed them. Her daddy covered up everything. <laughs> I didn't. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, Jimmy. You broke me. Tell me something. 
others have to do with this? Nothing. They were just caught in the storm. You're guilty too. You killed them. We killed them. I'll take my punishment. Trace Detective Bilson's cell phone to a house in the hills off Highway E. I'm calling up now to check it out. Finch, don't move. I'm on my way. Over. If I'm a mother to a father, you've done exactly what I would have done. But now you're here. What would your daughter think? What was her name?
Her name was Nadine. Call 911. What? Call 911. Tell them what you did. The truth will set you free, Jenny. Shit. Of course 911 would hang up on you. Ain't that a cherry? I want them to believe me. So much for doing the right thing. Now, you're gonna grow up without a mother. Don't you fucking move. Drop it. Now, drop your weapon. I can't. Drop the gun and take the punishment. Drop your weapon. No. Jenny Bilson, I heard your confession. You're doing the right thing. You have the right to remain silent.
Yeah, I love the ride.